That is a $350 stuffed animal right there. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we're going to talk about Big Money Plush, also known as stuffed animals. Yes, stuffed animals. Did you know that some stuffed animals go for hundreds of dollars? Well, let's talk about some Big Money Bolos that members of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group found at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, different places like that, and flipped for a profit. So basically, I put this in my Facebook group and I invite everybody in the group to share their big money plush bolo. So if you have a bolo you would like to share, come over to the Facebook group to the featured announcements section and look for the share post. So the first one here is, I was looking, I actually could not pronounce this word. So I said it like 50 times and decided that I better start the video over. <laughs> and I still am not sure how to say it, but I think they are vintage animaniacs. I'm probably saying that wrong. Wacko Yakko dot plush lot of three Dakin Warner Brothers. Good condition. These are stuffed animals. They are plush. She picked these up at the Goodwill for $3 and they took about a week to sell for $49.99 on eBay. The next item, look at this old cow. It is a vintage blue cow plush, 11 inch character novelty company, 1950s stuffed animal and it, they used the keyword kitschy. And I think that probably helped sell this item. I paid a couple bucks for this little guy at an estate sale. It took a while to sell, but he was so neat that I wanted to hold out for the right buyer. I feel like cows don't come around that often as plush. And she did not put what it actually sold for. Um, but it looks like she took a best offer. It was listed at 65. So I'm guessing she was probably in the $50 range, if I had to guess. And this one comes from Jody Toyatic, and she is also on YouTube. Definitely check her out. She is a bolo finder and she knows a lot about toys. So you will definitely learn a lot from her. The next item is this vintage Tyco Kitty Kitty Kitten purring stuffed plush split beige white 1992 stuffed animal. And the pictures are not popping up. Come on. Hmm. There it is. Anyway, it says I got this from my local Goodwill outlet the same day as my other Bolo. I paid about 10 cents for this item. I listed it on Etsy as well as some other sites. But for God, I had it on there. I was surprised to see it sold for the full asking price of $90 after only a month. It looks like $89.99. Roundup. This is definitely a brand of Bolo for My shop name is Full Circle Phoenix. So I believe the Tyco Kitty Kitty Kittens are okay to sell. And the other brand is the one that had the recall. We talked about that in the other. Uh, somebody said it was a voluntary recall. So um, I'm not really sure all the details on that, but definitely look into it. But these are a bolo. The next one is this koala baby curly chenille lamb stuffed animal, white pink bow plastic eyes. It says, I found this lamb at uh, my local Goodwill outlet. I couldn't find any info online about it. So I decided to grab it anyway, since it only cost about 50 cents. Turns out it's an incredibly rare plush that moms are hunting for. I took a shot in the dark and listed it for 90. It took a few weeks to sell for full price of $90 on Poshmark. And this one comes from Lavender Ashes. So um, here is the little tush tag. Always put that. And it is Koala Baby. So yeah, if it's a hard to find plush and a parent is looking for it for their child, and it is chenille, so it's probably super, super soft. All right, the next item is mine. Uh, this one uh, came from, I don't know if you guys remember, my friend gave me a bag of plush from her childhood, and this was one of the plush that was in the bag. And you guys can see that full video on my channel. But I just thought this was super cute. And a good thing to put in the title for bunnies is the word Easter, if you have room. Uh, this was a plush that was given to me from a friend, free to me, sold for sale price of $62. And it is a standing plush and it's holding this little lamb. Is that not adorable? All right. This one is a gund Easter. 
excuse me, gunned Easter Bunny small. And look at it. It's got the original tag. I would have put the word realistic in the title. Oh my goodness. That looks like a real bunny. Look at it. Realistic. I purchased this realistic, ah, oh, they got it right here, gunned bunny plush that was practically brand new at the Goodwill Bins outlet. I paid 50, maybe 50 cents. I couldn't find any items like it online, but I remembered you mentioning bunnies doing well in a video. So took a shot in the dark and listed it for 50. I received a best offer of 45 in less than 12 hours. So I took it. My eBay store is Full Circle Phoenix LLC. And right here, it looks like FJ Treasure Finds. So uh, could be that uh, sometimes they have a store name and then they also have a username. All right. So let me go over to the other Facebook group and we're going to pull up. Whoops. We're going to pull up the other one and we're going to look at some more big money plush bolo and wait until you see this one. Oh my goodness. So what I'm doing here is I'm finding the post and I'm pulling up the comments and I am reading what everybody wrote in the comments. So these are their words, not mine, but wait until you see this. Are you guys ready? This is a big money bolo. Oh my goodness. It is a gunned Fao Schwartz, F-A-O, Silver Millennium Snuffles Bear. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Oh my goodness. It's an extra large, guys. And it says, I found Snuffles gunned FAO collaboration on an online estate sale. I took a screenshot and used Google Lens to identify him and comp. Being a plush, others overlooked him and I was the only bidder. I bought for $3 and sold uh, by best offer on eBay for $350 in two weeks. I had him listed high and received several offers of $200. Sold comps were between $250 and $500 with the most being $350. So I took an offer. My store is Tre Treasure Hunter STL. That is a $350 stuffed animal right there. And what's cool is she got it on um, an estate sale auction online and only paid three dollars that is cool this guy is just a hoot talking the tiny chef show plush stuffed animal toy 24 phrases have you guys ever seen this guy would you have picked it up or walked past it purchased at red racks for six dollars Sold about a week later for best offer of 40 plus shipping. It was missing a mitten and tush tag was cut off. So Google Lens probably picked that one up pretty easy. He's pretty interesting looking. This one says Hazel Village X Magnolia Home Daisy Goat Decor Plush. So this is a home decor plush. Purchased at the Goodwill for just under five. Sold within a few weeks for $69.99. So... Hazel Village. Never heard of that brand. Definitely look it up. Definitely look it up. All right. So Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle um, has some plush for us. And she's also going to tell us about another item. Uh, this is a House of Lloyd Snuggles Glow Teddy Bear Plush Blue Clouds Pajama Bunny Slippers. And she said, I purchased three of these little guys last summer at an estate sale that had been running for three weekends in a row. It was the last day of the sale. I'm sorry. It was the last day, the last weekend, and paid 50 cents for each of them. I have one left. This one sold for $41.24 on a 25% off sale and shipped out at $52.32 all in. And she is Farm Girl Scavengers on eBay, and she is Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle on YouTube. And you will learn so much from her YouTube channel. So definitely check it out. And you can see here, I love when they have the little bunny feet. They're so cute. They look like they're wearing little bunny slippers. So nice little bolo. House of Lloyd. Oh, by the way, maybe open up the description. I want the collectors to know that I know what I have. Less complications and confusion that way. Again, I teach this stuff on YouTube. Uh, check it out if you'd like. And we should all be giving Courtney Bolo Buddies some great big kudos for all she does for us. Again, I paid $2 in a bulk purchase. This guy sold for $89.99, my asking price. They were all in for $102.12. Oh, thanks, Noelle. I appreciate it. 
and you can see down here. So it looks like she put all of the information. Look, 178,532 of 250,000 units produced. Very good pre-owned working condition comes with box and manuals. Info below is from the official Furby fandom. And then it's got all the information that she looked up. Trivia. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So this one is from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel too. Uh, she had two more Furbies, but I couldn't get them to open up. Let me see. Okay. This one is truly creepy. These Emototronic Furbies from 2005 are highly sought after and nobody is caring if they don't work. They will skin them, gut them, and rebuild them like they are the $6 million man. LOL. No, really, they do. I sold him once for a best offer of 60 and they didn't pay. No biggie. Relisted and sold for a best offer of 80 one month later. They were all in for 98 98 all in shipped. Again, I paid $2 in bulk purchases. And for some reason, I couldn't get um, the other two to pull up that she shared. So um, let's see. Yeah, so there's just two here. And then she sold this guy. He is a vintage 1980s Zazu and Friends Blue Troll Plush Thumb Sucker Keychain. It's a keychain. Whoa. <laughs> you are not going to believe this one. So found while helping to clean out a storage unit. So basically free other than my time. Buy the weird stuff and sell it. If Mama Beth is out there, this is going to knock your socks off. Okay, so this little guy was pretty darn gross. I soaked him in stain spray and then scrubbed him with a toothbrush and Dawn under warm water. Did a little repair with some glue and called it good. He sold on a 30% off sale for $62.99, all in $83.47. Yep, yep, he did. And now he lives in Japan. And that one is Farm Girl Scavenger Noel also. So she did take the time to clean it. <laughs> All right, this one's mine. I got this at the Goodwill Bins and I sold it for a best offer of $50. It is a Piro Piro Sparkles Mellow Plush Yuri Sakia stuffed animal. I have no idea what all those words mean, but I have two of these and one has sold and I think I still have one listed. Now these are white, the, the two that I have. So, you know, when they're white, they have a tendency to, you know, not be super, super white, but these were in pretty good condition. Sometimes there's some yellowing. So you got to be careful with that, but mine looked pretty good. This one surprised me a little bit because it's just a star. It's an Aiden and Anasis. I don't know how to say that. Snuggle knit, lovey, navy white stripe star security blanket. And Got this lovey for free along with two others, one of which has already sold. Asked 25, took a best offer of 20. And this one comes from a Ritberg on Poshmark. So it's just a little lovey. 20 bucks. Bam. Vintage Puppet Productions. Half body puppet Muppet green with purple hair. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, look at those eyes. I love it. Love it. Love it. Went on vacation to Florida, Fort Myer area and stopped in a Goodwill for a quick minute while a family member shopped for a bathing suit they had forgotten. Found this guy with the plush and paid $5.99. I listed it two days after getting back from vacation and it sold in less than 24 hours for $49.87. Plus shipping. Might have been able to list higher, but he had a small mark on his face. Plus, I honestly know very little about these and the comps were everywhere. So there you go. The next one is another lovey. This is a jelly cat gray white puppy dog security blanket. Um, no, a dollar at the Goodwill. Thanks, Courtney. Yes, this one is that simple. She got it at the Goodwill for a dollar, sold it for 45. Jelly cat is a great brand to pick up. And this one comes from a thrifted spirit. And the next item is this primary color block teddy bear number eight plush 12 inch Walmart stuffed animal vintage. And uh, the rebel reseller who sells a lot of plush will tell you Walmart, Walgreens, Target, CVS, all of the exclusives. A lot of those items will sell for big money 
or higher prices because they are harder to find. This one comes from Childhood Finds and it says, I got this at a thrift store for 99 cents. It sold for a full asking price in about a month and $49.95 for this little guy. And Childhood Finds is awesome. She is on YouTube and also here on eBay as Childhood Finds. So definitely check her out. This one comes from Found by Chance. It is a Popples. It's a 1986 Popples to be exact. Potato chip stuffed animal plush Mattel Rare in the box. In the box. Its name's Potato Chip. How cute is that? Found this vintage 1986 Popples potato chip stuffed animal plush Mattel Rare in box Mattel 8 inch at the Goodwill for $8 and sold for best offer of $166.20. And she said it sold pretty quickly. This one is a vintage play school baby jammy pies tuck doll 1986. And she said, I paid $3.36 at a local thrift store, sold on Poshmark for $118. $94 profit after fees. It did have some pilling on the clothes and a mark on the forehead, but was in really good condition otherwise. And look how cute it is. Oh my goodness. Look at it. She's so cute. Found by chance on Poshmark. This one comes from Piece of Scrap. And this one's on Depop. And I don't use Depop. So I don't know how to get rid of this cookies thing. And so you can't see the whole bear. And it just says stuffed animals. And she usually puts titles. So I don't know if it's because I ha don't have it pulled up. Uh, because I can see her title on what she posted. It's a Vermont teddy bear stuffed plush animal. A uh, piece of scrap on YouTube and here on, I think, Depop and eBay and Poshmark. She sells a little bit of everywhere. And she paid 25 cents at a thrift store for it and sold it for $30 on Depop. So you can sell stuffed animals on Depop. This is a Commonwealth German Shepherd plush, 18 inches, puppy dog, black, tan, 2001, vintage stuffed animal. This one also comes from Childhood Finds on YouTube and here on eBay. Sold it for $54.95. Another good keyword to put in the title would be realistic. All right, we got Kermit the Frog. Vintage Muppets Kermit the Frog, Eden Toys Wind Up Music Box Rainbow Connection. Um, let's see. This look how cute he is. Bought this vintage Kermit the Frog stuffed animal from Eden at a church sale for a dollar. It winds up and plays the Rainbow Connection. He sat in my profit pile until I saw the Rebel reseller talk about which Eden plush sells for the most money. Someone had recently sold one just like this for $149. I pulled it out of the pile and listed it right away on Mercari and eBay. It sold for the asking price of $199 on Mercari within in less than two months. Yes, a lot of times plush sells quicker or for more money on Mercari. And I've talked about that in a lot of my videos. And if you guys want to join Mercari, I do have a referral link down below. You will get $10 to shop when you join and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. And Poshmark, you get $10 to shop when you use my referral link. And all of those referral and affiliate links down below, if you guys use those, that does help me. Um, I do get uh, credits to shop or commissions, and that comes at no extra cost to you. So whenever you guys can use those, I really, really super appreciate it. And uh, Mercari and Poshmark are both great platforms for plush. Etsy is also great. I don't have a referral link for it, but I uh, have heard that plush does well over there as well. So check out Etsy also. Harry Potter Choir Frog Plush Puppet with Sound. Uh, this one is Harry Potter. $50. Look at its face. It's a frog. Purchase this Universal Studios Wizarding World of Harry Potter Choir Frog. Puppet with sound from Goodwill for $4.99. Less than 24 hours of it being listed. It sold for $50 on Mercari. All right, you guys. What did you think about those big money plush? Wow, right? Um, come on over to the Facebook group. The link is down below under my link tree and share your big money bolo. I typically have a plush and then bolo of the month. So look for the share your best 
March or April Bolo, depending on which month this video airs in. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Uh, come over to Whatnot if you're not there. I'm selling over there. I do live shows, uh, live untanglings. Even if you're not really interested in buying, you can come hang out in the chat. It's super fun. There is a referral link down below where you can get $15 to shop if you join Whatnot with that. And I hope to see you at a show. Um, if you come over to the show, say, I'm from your YouTube channel and give me a hello. I really appreciate it so much. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.